Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. So today, I will be taking a look at the Transformers R.I.D. 2015 Combiner Force Warrior Class Thermidor. So let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this figure. So, so let's get it on, man. Let's go! And here is Thermidor fully transformed into his vehicle mirror. Now, truth be told, this is actually a repaint slight remold of the RID 2015 Warrior Class Bisque. Um, so I never held the Bisque mold. Um, uh, this is my first time uh, owning this mold. So um, yeah, this is the only version of the mold that I have. This is the Thermidor version. I never got the Bisque version because I, I never found it. I couldn't find it in my country. So. He was nowhere to be found, but anyway, so I found this guy and I just had to get it because it's, it was a new mold to me, so yeah. Yeah, pretty cool uh, view commode, I will say. Uh, nice red paint I, on the uh, rims on the wheels, which is pretty cool. And you got nice black paint on the front, some nice yellow, got some uh, nice silver and red paint for the lights. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, nice uh, black paint for the windows and windshields. It's, um, it's going all around, which is nice. You don't you don't get that too often, so yeah, pretty cool. And you do have this, uh, I think it's uh, light blue-ish or silver-ish paint on the back, on the spoiler. <laughs> so yeah, and you come on the other side here and you can see how the robot is shape is, is working right there. Um, yeah, not a lot of robot mode bits sticking out, which is really nice, you know, it's, everything is nice and concealed. Everything is is uh, it's hidden really well, so yeah, really nicely done vehicle come out in my opinion. So uh, now you do have these two ports, so yeah, uh, it's for his weapons. So his weapons include these guns right here, which is really really nicely molded, pretty cool, I will say. And you can actually store the guns on the vehicle come out. Just plug them in, just like so, and just plug that in just like so and uh, it's ridiculous but hey it's weapon storage if you really want to store the weapons on there so I'm going to take this off right now and put it off to the side because you want to get it hey came undone <laughs> it's came undone I don't know how what how anyway so right came undone again sheesh anyway so oh oh no so he does roll as rolling things should, which is nice, pretty cool. So now, let us get down to some size comparisons. Here is Steel Jaw, um, not Steel Jaw. <laughs> Here is Thermidor compared with the Warrior Class Steel Jaw, with the Warrior Class Megatronus, with the Warrior Class Autobot Blast Wave, with his wave mate Warrior Class Bludgeon, with the Warrior Class Scorponok, with the Warrior Class Thunderhoof, with the Minicon Deployer, Decepticon Overload with the Warrior Class Grimlock with the Warrior Class Stormshot and last but not least with the Warrior Class Optimus Prime so there you uh, that is pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons okay so I think we're pretty much done with the vehicle mode it's you know it's a blue and uh, yeah you can see the plastic I think it has a nice uh, like metal flake finish to it. I do quite like that. I do quite dig that. So, let us transform Mr. Thermidor into his robot mode. So the first thing I want to do is going to untab this section right here. Untab it. Un untab. There we go. Just untab it. Untab that. Just bring all this down. Bring this over. Just like that. Just untab the sides right here. Just untab them from the side. And you want to untab the hood section right here. Just untab all this. And you want to split, split all that, split all this, there we go. And now we can, we can take this chest panel right here, just put that out and flip out his head, just like so. And now I want to take this section right here, just open this up, untap this, open that up. You can see these two tabs are going to these slots right in there. And now I can take the legs and just unfold them. I'll hold them like so and just bring this back down just like that so now you can take the feet and just rip them out rip them out and there you have the legs 
pretty much all done and ready. So I need to zoom out a little bit more right here so you can see what I'm doing. So just take this and just bring this down, bring this down, and then you want to take the chest panel right here. Just, just make sure. Just uh, you can see how it, how it's gonna gonna go. So you're gonna take these two tabs and fit into these notches right here. So just slide them in, slide that in. There we go. And now you want to take this section right here. Just rotate this around, just like so. Just bring down the arm and just rotate the arm around, just like so. And there you have that. So you just bring down the shoulder pad, just like so. And there you have an arm all done and ready. So the same thing on the other side. Just have this, bring this down, and just rotate this around just like so, so that the elbows are oriented properly. Rotate this around, this down, and I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we are done. So there you have Thermidor fully transformed into his robot mode, and I absolutely love his design. I'm sorry, I absolutely love his design. He is a big gigantic lobster robot, and his name is Thermidor. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me laugh. I don't know why, because you know there's actually a Thermidor lobster food, in, you know, in real life, and they actually named this guy Thermidor, which is uh, which is pretty clever and funny. <laughs> so yeah, he's a big lobster robot, and his name is Thermidor. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. It's just so funny and it's so clever. I, I, it, yeah, it's it's pretty clever for Hasbro. But anyway, so <laughs> let's get closer. So we can take a look at the, that head sculpt of his. You can see it's a totally different head sculpt from Bisque himself. He's like, like, arr, arr. Anyway, <laughs> um, in the show, his voice is basically a, a pirate. Yeah, <laughs> you can see the uh, these antennas right here that are done. Any nice soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. Um, I've seen some copies of Bisque where the head just breaks off. I don't know why, but so far mine doesn't break off like that. So yeah, yeah, pretty nicely done. You can see the the subcon symbol right there, the the scanning badge. So if you do have the app, you still have the game. If you're still playing the robots in this guy's mobile game. Go ahead and free scan on me. Go ahead, yeah. Go ahead, you had a free scan. There we go. <laughs> got nice black paint on the chest and silver paint as well for the uh, the belly right there, which is nice. Nice black paint for the crotch as well. Yeah, really nice robot mode, I will say. No backpack whatsoever. He just has this uh, top the car section right here, and he actually has a <laughs> he actually has a uh, little lobster tail. I will say he has a little lobster tail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he has a little lobster tail. That's pretty cute. That's pretty <laughs> Of course, a lobster robot has to have a tail, so yeah. But anyway, <laughs> so now, articulation-wise in this mode, you do have uh whoops. The uh yeah, the the, the ball. Yeah, you can see the ball socket. You can see like uh yeah, yeah, the the head is on the ball joint, but it pops off very easily. <laughs> so yeah, so you can definitely uh, do a little bit of rotation with the head, but not too much because I don't really want to break this. I don't want to break this head right here. So you do have a little bit of rotation at the head right there. Um, the arms can do a full 360. The hinge is pretty tight. You can actually move in and out. You do have a bicep swivel. You do have an elbow joint, about 90 degrees of band, uh, no wrist swivel unfortunately, but you do have this joint right here, so he can do this, he, he, yeah, he, he can he can bow like that, there you go, hi there, my name is Thorvador, nice to meet you, but anyway, <laughs> so there we go, so yeah, he can definitely do the bowing pose if you want him to. Uh, no way swivel due to the way he transforms, the legs are on the ball joint, can move up that far, can move back, uh, only that far, and he can do the full splits, you do have a thigh swivel, you do have a knee joint, very deep knee bend due to the way he transforms, and the feet can move up and down, no ankle tilt whatsoever. So he's not super poseable, not super poseable, but Hey, at least he still has some movement. Now he can definitely hold his weapons, and it's the uh, the same force that you use in vehicle mode. Just take this 
can just plug it onto his claws, just like so. Oh yeah, you can open and close his claws as well. So that's an uh, extra piece of articulation that I totally missed out. There we go. So there we go. He can uh, hold his guns and um, in terms of the MGO quote, pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. There we go. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool robot mode. I do quite like him. So uh, let's get down to some size comparisons. Here is Thermidor compared with the Warrior Class Steel Jaw with the Warrior Class Scorponok. If I had Paralon, then this would work so much better. But anyway, <laughs> let's move on with the Warrior Class Thunder Hoof with the Minicon Deployer Decepticon Overload with the Warrior Class Decepticon Bludgeon. With the mighty Lord Megatronus. With the Warrior Class Autobot Blast Wave. With the Warrior Class Storm Shot. With the Warrior Class Grimlock. And last but not least, with the Warrior Class Optimus Prime. So, that is pretty much it for the Robot Mode comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Combiner Force Warrior Class. Thermidor, man, that's a lot of words. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, I like this figure. I I really love this figure. I, I definitely like the design of the robot mode itself, and the vehicle mode looks pretty good as well. Yeah, it does have some nice paint work, like, all around, you know, nice paint on the legs, and nice paint on the chest right here, and some, you know, some paint on the arms as well, and the shoulders right there. Yeah, he does have some nice paint work all around. I do quite like you know, the look of him and uh, the articulation is decent enough, you know, you can actually pose him really nicely, but it would have been better if he had, um, if, a, uh, if he had some ankle tilts, yeah, it would have been better if he had ankle tilts, and also, you know, a proper, you know, way to, uh, to rotate his head around, you know, to, to hinge his head, you know, forward a little bit, but eh, it is what it is, so, but all around, it's a fun figure to mess with, I, I do quite like him, so, yeah. So if I were to rank Thermidor from a scale of 1 to 10, I think I would just give him a good... Uh, 9 out of 10, uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he gets a 9 out of 10, he's a really cool figure, so if you do see him online or do see him in, in the shop or somewhere, I don't know, um, do pick him up because, you know, he's really fun, you know, he's fun to mess with, so yeah, definitely, I would highly recommend this figure if you can actually find him, like, online or somewhere else, I don't know, you know, good luck on the toy hunt, but anyway, so, <laughs> alright, so that is pretty much it for today's video review, so ladies and gentlemen, if you're completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below, and while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well, so that you know when my new videos are up and ready, and you can always check out my Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed, so I'll post a link to that playlist in the description down below, and if you have enjoyed this video review, do me a favor and slam dunk a like on it, I will appreciate that very, very much, so. And I think that is pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Combiner Force Warrior Class Thermidor. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out. Yay!